Hey guys, God bless. Welcome back to Twist and Shout. I am Shar, and today I decided to, well, I decided this a couple days ago, but currently I am going to be doing a live porosity test. Um, reason being is because one, I believe you definitely should check it and check it at least once a year, I guess, because your hair can change based on circumstances and things. And my hair been acting a little different. So originally when I done this test and based on, you know, all the characteristics of high porosity hair, I was it. But recently my hair is starting to act a little different. So what I'm going to actually do in front of you guys, and if you don't know, this is the cup test or the water test where you take a strand of your hair and you make sure it's clean. So typically on wash day, like if some hair comes out, because you don't want to just cut hair, but if you lose a strand or two, you just take it, you make sure it's clean, no conditioner, no deep conditioner, no anything. And you save it until you actually can do this and you put some water in a cup and you're going to place your hair strand in the cup to see if it floats, which will be low porosity, um, float, float in general, um, float and then make its way down is normal porosity and then if it just sinks pretty quickly then it's high porosity so i got a strand of hair here i know you can't see it at all there you go a little bit and i'm just gonna place it in here and this is an actual strand y'all this came from the root child got a root to it all right so i just placed my hair in the water. I don't know if you can see that. The sun is kind of highlighting. Okay, it appears to be floating. I don't want to touch it too much. I don't know if you guys can It's picking up on camera a little bit. Okay, so currently floating. Not even trying to sink. And then I'm also gonna take another piece because you know your girl came prepared. I'm gonna take a shorter piece of strand because that one's long well this one's about the same size too child this is from the root too ain't it i'm trying to get a piece where we can just it would say a whole strand but let me see if i get a short piece or a shorter piece where i can because right now Okay, so it finally fell down and I am still floating. Still floating, sis. All right, so I'm going to take another piece. I don't know if you can see that. Bring it over there to the white. Take another piece and place it over here and see what that does. And hopefully these are from, because one thing I probably would recommend too is taking two pieces from two entirely different sections of your hair. Still floating. We're about a minute and some change in. Let me see if there's a time on it. I'm going to look it up on my other phone. Take a couple of strands of hair from your comb or brush and drop them into a bowl of water. Let them sit for two to four minutes. If your hair floats, you have low porosity. If it sinks, you have high porosity. And again, if it gradually makes its way down, then you have normal porosity. So this time on my phone is four minutes, but I know I was talking before. So I'm going to give it a few more seconds. But again, for anyone who wants to do this test, all you do, it doesn't matter what kind of bowl, you just need a, a bowl or cup of water 
and it needs to have volume to it, obviously. Um, and you're going to take a strand. It says from your brush or your comb. I'm not going to say that because it could be influenced by products. So I would say a clean piece of hair, fresh from wash day. You're going to, anyone is going to lose at least one strand of hair. Like even if you're not the type to lose hair hair on wash day, there should be at least one. And you're going to take the one after you wash your hair and everything. And put it, like I said, save it, let it dry, put it in a cup like this. And then watch and see what it does. If it floats, low porosity. If it sinks, high. Sorry, what I say? <laughs> I don't want to confuse you guys. If it floats, low porosity. If it sinks, high porosity. If it gradually makes its way down, then it's normal. Okay, so I currently got two strands of hair. And they both are floating okay so that's a big deal huge deal now what are some things that can change your porosity uh health uh heat heat damage um oftentimes heat damage hair or hair that has been repeatedly perm or colored tends to land on the high porosity side and it's actually considered damage. So although the, the good thing about the high porosity hair is that it does absorb water quickly, that's not necessarily okay because it absorb everything and it'll get weak and brittle. So y'all know I've been doing at home DIY mask or deep conditioners, the avocado, the banana, the egg, the honey, um, the mayo, like I've been doing these things to kind of strengthen my hair and get my hair back to the normal state. And this is probably proof that I've been doing a pretty decent job, um, adjusting my porosity because again, high porosity is something that it seems good on the outside, but on the inside is evidence of damaged hair. Whereas medium to low porosity is probably a greater advantage because it means your hair is strong and it don't take no messes. So there you have it. I'm still floating. And obviously I will comment below. I'm going to leave this on my desk actually and see if it changes over time. And I will definitely let you guys know that. So yeah, that's my porosity test. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. God bless. Take care. Bye.